Welcome back. The attorney for a Lexington High School graduate found guilty in the 2014 high profile fatal stabbing of a student from a rival school says an injustice has now been righted with his client's conviction being reversed this week. Karen Dennis, who was 18 at the time, stabbed Devon Capers while in his car in the parking lot of a cookout in Lexington. That happened back in 2014. He twice went to trial for that killing and was convicted the second time in 2019. Now, the State Court of Appeals says he was entitled to a pretrial hearing that he never got. Nick Neville spoke with Dennis's attorney about this development and what comes next. Dennis's lawyer Todd Rutherford says there's no disputing that his client stabbed capers in that parking lot a decade ago. At issue, whether the stabbing happened inside of Dennis's car, which would make him immune from prosecution, or outside of his car. The Court of Appeals clearly got it right. Uh, they restated long-standing law in South Carolina, which is that once a mistrial occurs, you start all over. Kieran Dennis did not get the benefit of that. Attorney Todd Rutherford reacting to the news this week that the Court of Appeals has overturned his client Kieran Dennis's murder conviction based on pretrial issues. Dennis stabbed Devon Capers to death in the parking lot of a Lexington cookout in 2014, but claimed immunity. It's a tragedy all the way around, um, but it's one of those things where it further exacerbates the tragedy when my client is spending time in prison for something that, uh, for behavior that is clearly covered under South Carolina law. Dennis's defense in this case is the state's Stand Your Ground Act, which essentially is self-defense without the duty to retreat. Just to walk you through the complicated timeline here, after the stabbing, Dennis had a pretrial immunity hearing to determine if that defense would stand. It was denied. The first trial in October of 2016 ended in a mistrial. The next year, he filed another motion for immunity. That, too, was denied. He was convicted two years later in 2019. I wish it never happened, and I, I say that every single day, as long as it's been going on. Every day I think, every day I think of it, I wish it never happened. The Court of Appeals now ruling that Dennis was owed a new immunity hearing before that second trial, and he must now get one. Rutherford is confident that immunity will be granted at this new hearing. I am not only confident, I am excited about the opportunity to continue to say that my client did not do what they are saying he did for the reason that they are saying he did it. He was defending himself. That is the law in South Carolina. He is allowed to do that, and that is exactly what he did. If Dennis prevails at a new hearing, his conviction will be set aside. If immunity is denied, his conviction stands, and he can still appeal trial issues. For now, he will remain in prison. Reporting in Columbia, Nick Neville, WIS, News 10. The 11th Circuit Solicitor's Office, which prosecuted the case, deferred questions to the Attorney General's Office when asked if the state plans to appeal this decision. A spokesperson for the AG's office said, quote, We are currently reviewing the case to determine what, if any, additional action will be taken on the appeal level, end quote.